This video will show you how to create an M file in MATLAB. An M file is basically a text file that consists of a sequence of MATLAB commands which we can store in one place, send around to other people, and execute with one click of a button. There are two kinds of M files in MATLAB. One, which we're going to talk about in this video, is called a script M file. The other one is called a function, and it's more like a computer program and has a lot deeper treatment later. So let's work it with a series of commands in the command window, just as we would normally do it in MATLAB. Here I'm going to use this uh, formula here. This is Newton's universal law of gravitation. F is a force between two bodies, gravitational force. And the formula for this says it's equal to a constant called the universal gravitation constant times a mass of the first body, the mass of the second body, both in kilograms, and then the uh, R is the distance between them in meters. So how would we do this in the command window? Well, first of all, I need to go look up the value of the g, and it turns out that g is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th power. And I would enter that in. If I were just typing this into MATLAB, I would enter it in, and I would probably put a semicolon because I don't need to see the output. I see that it's stored over here. Uh, let's suppose I have a couple of masses. Mass 1, let's say that's 10 kilograms, and mass 2, let's say that's 100 kilograms. And let's say that their distance apart is uh, 50 meters. And so now, if I were doing this just in MATLAB, I would type the formula just as you see it. F equals G, parenthesis, G times M1 times M2 divided by R squared, like so. And I would leave the semicolon off because I want to see the answer. So there's my answer. Now, that's all well and good, and I've solved this, uh, I've calculated the force for one set of masses, but suppose I wanted to go back through and save these keystrokes here, as you see over in the command history, and perhaps change the value of M1 or M2 or R. Or if, what if I just wanted to send the sequence of commands to somebody for them to play with? Well, for that we're going to need an M file. To create an M file, we're just going to go click on File, New, and then blank M file. And this brings up a text editor. You can also open this text editor just from this little new file icon. And basically, to, cre to save these commands, I would either type them into this editor exactly as I saw them over here, or more simply, I can just control click or command click if you're on a Mac, click, and then just drag them in to this M file, like so. There. And now that I have these in an M file, I can save it. And it automatically puts a .m extension on the file. If you navigate to your current folder, you will now see this M file show up. And if I open this M file, I'm going to clear my screen just for effect and also clear out the variables. So we see there is nothing stored in MATLAB right now. Now when I open up this M file, there's a little green arrow button here that allows me to execute all of these commands at once. I click the green button, and now go back to my command window. I see it's calculated the force, and it's created all these variables for me. So what I've essentially done is frozen a sequence of commands in MATLAB to a file. And now I can communicate this file, I can publish it, I can send it around, I can tweak it too. I could go in, for example, and change M1 to uh, 5,000 kilograms if I wanted to. Save. Click the button again, and it recalculates the force, as I see here. So this is a convenient way to save a sequence of commands that you would like to execute later. Just to see how we could do this from scratch, I'm also going to go and open up a new, yet another M file, and you see it opens in a tab. Let's suppose I were going to enter in a matrix, say just a random uh, 3 by 4 matrix and say I want to uh, calculate its reduced row echelon form. So those two commands, a very simple file, I'll save that as a matrix file. And then when I click the green button, I see that it has created my matrix and reduced it to reduced echelon form. So M files are used, script M files like this, are used to collect sequences of commands, store them, and re-execute them later with a touch of one button.